So let's try to find the center of mass of a laminar region, a triangular laminar region uh, that's given by these vertices with this density function. So in the last video we talked about the formulas for center of mass. And let's start by plotting the region. So here's the xy coordinate axes. This is a triangle whose vertices are at 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, and then 0, 2. And so the triangular region is bounded by the two coordinate axes and then this line. And this line, of course, is this can be written in mx plus b form. So y is equal to 2 minus slope is negative, negative 2. So 2 minus 2x. And so this can be thought of as either a type 1 or a type 2 region. The way that I've written it here, it looks like it's probably going to be a type 1 because I've got a formula y equals something. And the... the um, density function itself doesn't seem to have, be any different in the x or y directions individually. So let's start by computing the mass. The mass is going to be important and then we'll compute the moments. Remember the mass is just the double integral over the region, this is our region D, of the density function. So, and as a type 1 region, this is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 in the x direction integral from 0 to the curve, so 2 minus 2x in the y direction. And then to compute the mass, we just integrate the density function itself, 1 plus 3x plus y dA. This is an iterated integral, so we start with the inner integral, which, by the way, um, this dA is correct, but I've already written this out in, in terms of a type 1, so it's going to be dy then dx. And when we iterate, we integrate with respect to y first. So the antiderivative in here is y plus 3xy plus 1 half y squared. And the boundaries of the y are from 0 to 2 minus 2x. And of course, we have to plug in these boundaries before we do the next integral because the boundary, well, for many reasons, but one obvious reason is because the boundary here has x's in it itself. And so when we plug in, this becomes 2 minus 2x, goes into here, plus 3x times 2 minus 2x, plus 1 half 2 minus 2x quantity squared. Then when we plug in 0 for y, everything gets zeroed out. So only the upper bound is going to leave anything for us to integrate here. Before we integrate this one, let's multiply everything out and then combine like terms if we can. So this becomes 2 minus 2x plus 6x minus 6x squared, and then plus a half times 4 minus 4x plus 4x squared. Sorry, this is 8x in the middle, minus 8x. So it's minus 4x minus 4x dx. Um, we can cancel some stuff here. So this 2 will make this a 2, this a 4, this a 2, and then we can combine this into a single integral, 0 to 1. The constants are going to be 2 plus 2, so that's 4. We have then minus 2x plus 6x minus 4x, so that's, that's all going to cancel out. Minus 2 plus 6 is plus 4, minus 4 is 0, so that's gone. So we can color code this stuff, so the 2 and the 2 made 4. The minus 2 plus 6 minus 4, that's 0, those are gone. And then we have minus 6x squared plus 2x squared, so we're left with minus 4x squared dx. Okay, and now we just integrate this one. This is a simple integral with respect to x. I guess if I'm integrating it, this is gone. So this antiderivative is 4x minus 4 thirds x cubed, and x varies from 0 to 1. So we end up with 4 minus 4 thirds minus 0. And when we work this out, we add this up. This is 12 minus 4, so 8 thirds. And so that's the mass of this region. We next need to compute the moments of mass, and then we can find the center of mass. So the moments, remember, m sub y this is the double integral over d of x times rho of xy dA. So this is going to be the double integral of x times 1 plus 3x plus y 
dA all over d. All right, so there's our density function. We multiply by x for this one. <clears throat> and otherwise, we're multiplying, or we're integrating over the same type 1 region. So everything's going to be very similar, except we're going to have this extra factor of x here. So let's work it out. The boundaries are the same. The thing we integrate is similar. So this becomes 3x squared plus xy squared dy dx. The inner, inner integral is exactly the same, except now we have these extra, this extra factor of x everywhere. So xy plus 3x squared y plus xy squared. I had a typo here. I'm sure you all saw it and were yelling at me, but that was just a y. This is then y squared, and then the half shows up here. And then our boundaries are, again, y goes from 0 to 2, two minus 2x. Two and so the thing we have to integrate is x times 2 minus 2x two plus 3x squared times 2 minus 2x two plus 1 half x times 2 minus 2x two quantity squared. The 0 still zeroes everything out here. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit here because this is exactly the same as what we did before except there's another factor of x. So if we go back... We're going to end up with exactly this after we simplify, except everything is going to be multiplied by another factor of x. So our integrand now is going to be integral from 0 to 1 of 4x minus 4x cubed dx. Again, that extra factor of x just got multiplied through by everything here after integrating by y. And so that's going to leave us with 4 minus 4x cubed. And of course, this can be integrated pretty easily. This, end, this gives us 2x squared minus x to the fourth, and our boundaries for x are still 0 and 1, and so this is 2 minus 1, or just 1. This is our moment with respect to y. At this point, we can write down the center of mass in the x direction. Remember, x bar is m sub y over the mass, little m, and so our x bar, our center of mass in the x direction, is 1 over our mass. Remember, our mass was 8 thirds. And so this will give us 3 over 8. So there's the x-coordinate of our center of mass. We now need to repeat all this to find the y-coordinate. And that requires us to take the moment with respect to x, which is the double integral over d of y times our density function dA. And so this will be integral 0 to 1, integral 0, 2 minus 2x. But then it's y, so it's, this is a little different now y times 1 plus 3x plus y dy dx. So this is going to change things. The last one was kind of more straightforward. But this one, I mean this is still straightforward, but it's going to change the integral with respect to y. So let's write it out. And then we can compute it. So the integral that we want to compute with respect to y is y plus 3xy plus y squared dy dx. Inner integral first, always. And then when we compute this, we end up with antiderivative is 1 half y squared plus 3 halves xy squared plus 1 third y cubed. And y varies from 0 to 2 minus 2x dx. Again, the 0 is going to zero everything out. This term has to get thrown in there. So this is now going to be integral from 0 to 1 of, when we plug this in, this, remember, is 4 minus 8x minus 4x squared. And divided by 2, this is going to give us 2 minus 4x plus 2x squared plus 3 times x times the same thing. So 3x times all this is going to be plus 6x minus 12x squared plus 6x cubed. So there's the first two terms, and then we're going to have plus a one-third, 2 minus 2x, quantity cubed, dx. Okay, and now, we, again, we want to try to simplify this before we actually go through and do the integral, but this is the integral from 0 to 1. We can combine this stuff together and multiply this out and then combine everything at the end, but we've only got one constant here, that's our 2. We've got minus 4x plus 6x, so that's going to be plus 2x. Then we've got plus 2x squared minus 12x squared, so that's minus 10x squared. 
and then plus 6x cubed. And then over here we have plus, I can take this 2 out, 2 cubed is 8, so that's 8 thirds times, and then what I actually cube is then 1 minus x cubed, and that is of course 1 minus x, sorry, that's not right, it's 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed. Just multiply this all out, carry through the minuses. So that's what's going to go here. It's 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed. This is all times 8 thirds. And so we now carefully add everything up, and then we just have one more integral to do. So 2 plus 8 thirds is 14 thirds. So 2, which is 6 over 3, right, plus 8 thirds is 14 thirds. The next term we have is 2x um, minus 8x. 2x minus 8x, that's going to be minus 6x. The next term we have is minus 10x squared plus 8x squared. So that's going to be a minus 2x squared next. So minus 10 plus 8. And then the very last thing we have here is, I'm running out of colors, 6x cubed minus 8 thirds x cubed. 6 times 3 is 18. So 18 minus 8, that's 10 thirds x cubed, positive. dx. And this is what we integrate now. So this becomes 14 thirds times x minus 3x squared minus 2 thirds x cubed plus 10, third, 10, oh, 10 over 12. We can reduce that if we need to. x to the fourth, and then we plug in our x equals 0 to 1. And we end up with, when 1 goes in, we just get the coefficients. 0 is going to zero everything out. This gives us 14 thirds minus 3 minus 2 thirds plus, we can now reduce this a little bit. This is going to be 5 over 6. We need to add all of this up, and so this becomes 28 minus 18 minus 6 plus 5 all over 6. So this is 10, makes it 4, plus 5 is 9. And 9 over 6 is 3 halves. Okay, so make sure I added this all correctly, um, but <clears throat> this should be our moment with respect to x. And so that leaves our m bar. We've got everything we need now is the m sub x over m. m sub x is 3 halves. Our mass of the entire region was 8 thirds. And so when we multiply this out, we end up with, multiply by the reciprocal, we end up with 9 sixteenths. Okay, so this is our y bar. And so at the end of the day, we can go back to our main page here. The center of mass that we're looking for is going to be, remember we have the x bar is 3 eighths, the y bar is 9 sixteenths, and so we have 3 eighths is about here, 9 sixteenths is a little over a half here, and the center of mass is about here. Maybe that's not quite right, but this is our x bar, y bar. So 3 eighths, 9 sixteenths.